Calorie restriction is well known to extend lifespan in a variety of animal models. For example, in the data here, on the left we see uh, the lifespan extending effect of various levels of calorie restriction, 47% CR, 69% CR, and 75% CR, each of, with, each of which extends both average and maximal lifespan, uh, with similar data in the male mice on the right, uh, so 44% calorie restriction uh, extended both average and maximal lifespan. So these data are in, are in mice, and although the data is similar in a variety of other animal models, including, fly, including flies, yeast, and worms, um, what about in people? So uh, longitudinal studies uh, using calorie restriction are impossible. We'd have to do an 80-plus year study to see if calorie restriction really extends uh, average, well, at least average lifespan on people, and we need it to be 120 years or more to see if it extends uh, maximum. So how can we get at this issue of whether or not calorie restriction will positively impact health and lifespan in people? So one way is to assess biological age. And uh, in a study done in 2018, uh, calorie restriction was shown to slow biological aging. So here, what we're looking at is uh, biological age on the, on the y-axis, and on the x-axis are the baseline, 12 months of CR, and 20 month, 24 months of CR. And this data is from the calorie study, C-A-L-E-R-I-E, -E, um, that, again, that was, mentioned, that, that was performed in 2018. So um, first, this uh, study was in a relatively young cohort, cohort uh, around 30, well, 38 years uh, was the average age, uh, just barely above the um, normal or lean BMI definition with a BMI of 25.1. A BMI less than 25 is considered normal or lean. Um, and then uh, there were 70 uh, ad libitum controls, meaning they ate their normal diet, and then 130 were randomized to undergo uh, calorie restriction with the goal of 25% uh, a 25% reduction in calories. So first, as we can see by the arrow, there was no difference in uh, biological age when comparing the ad lib and CR groups. So they're starting from the same biological age, and actually interesting, their biological age at 37 years was virtually identical to their chronological age of 38 years. So what happened uh, after a year of calorie restriction versus a year of not being calorie restricted? So we can see that the ad lib group who ate their normal diet and didn't restrict their calories, uh, for the one year that passed, they experienced a, a, a 0.71 increase in their biological age. In contrast, the CR group only uh, aged by 0.11 years. So um, we can see the 95% confidence intervals between these two uh, groups of data, so the shaded uh, is the 95% confidence interval, and uh, the confidence intervals for both of these groups are not overlapping, so the data are significantly different. And uh, this rate of aging was slowed uh, uh, similarly after two years of calorie restriction, with the CR group uh, experiencing uh, uh, 0 0.2, so only two-tenths of a year passed biologically, but yet two years passed chronologically, whhereas the ad lib group experienced a 1.4-year uh, increase in their biological age uh, for the two years that passed. So a significant reduction in biological age over the two-year period that uh, participants uh, were on a CR diet. So how much CR was able to uh, uh, imp imp impact uh, biological age? So that's the data we can see here. That's a uh, percentage of CR on the y-axis uh, plotted against time. So first, uh, for the first six months of the study, uh, probably more people were, most people were, you know, uh, super excited, I guess, the, uh, to calorie restrict. And the CR group reduced their calories by an average of 480 calories per day, down from 2467, which was their baseline intake, which was a reduction of about 20%. Now, for the remaining 18 months of the study, they weren't able to, uh, the CR group wasn't able to restrict as much. Uh, so there was about a 9 to 10% reduction in their calorie intake, so thereby reducing their daily calorie intake by 234 calories. And cumulatively, over the 24-month uh, study, uh, the CR group reduced their calorie intake by an average of about 12%. So were there differences in biological age depending on the level of CR? Did the group that within the CR group did uh, 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 subjects who had more CR, a higher restriction, experience a, an even lower biological age compared to people who restricted less? And um, although it looks like there are differences, so um, what we're looking at here is biological age, again, plotted on the y-axis against time. And you can see the ad lib group in the uh, dark blue circles. Again, that 1.4 year increase in biological age over the two year period. So when comparing the uh, subjects who had less than 10% CR, the light blue circles, versus 10% or more CR, the dark blue circles, although those data look like they're different, 
they were not statistically uh, significantly different. So one could argue that um, having more than 10% CR or less than 10% CR, you can get you could get the uh, biological slowing effects of calorie restriction. So uh, which biomarkers are included in this biological age calculator and how good is it? I haven't shown that data. So let's just take a quick look at that. So the biological age calculator that, calculator that they use is called, called the Clamera Duval Biological Age, and that was first published uh, uh, in 2006. So it contains uh, 10 biomarkers and age. Uh, so um, albumin, alkaline phosphatase, blood urea nitrogen, C-reactive protein, creatinine, uh, glycated hemoglobin, which is actually glucose levels. Uh, they calculated uh, glycate, uh, HbA1c from the glucose uh, levels, uh, systolic blood pressure, total cholesterol, uric acid, and white blood cell count. Now, notice uh, that five of these biomarkers are on uh, Levine's phenotypic age biological age calculator, which, which I've talked about in many videos. So there is some overlap between these two biological age calculators. So uh, the, this biological age calculator, the Clamera Duval um, biological age calculator, is strongly correlated with chronological age in the calorie study. And that's what we can see here. Uh, so the correlation between these biomarkers with chronological age as uh, boxed with the red rectangle below was 0.88, which is a strong correlation uh, for the biological age calculator with chronological age. Now, these data are in a uh, sample size of 200 subjects. Uh, it's almost always better to have larger, larger data sets because if, if, a, if an effect is actually significant, you'd see it in a very large cohort, whereas with smaller subject sizes, you, you know, the data could be more variable and it, the effect may be real or not because it's of the sample size, to, of the small sample size. So what about in a larger, larger study? So they looked at the correlation between the 10 biomarkers and age, so 11, with chronological age in this larger study, uh, 2009 to 2010 NHANES, which is the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. So in that study, there was uh, data for 7,700 blood test data and uh, blood pressure, systolic blood pressure data for 7,700 subjects. And we can see with the red rectangle at the corner that the correlation coefficient for this biological age calculator with chronological age was even a little bit better at 0.92. Now for a little bit of perspective, uh, Levine's phenotypic age calculator has a correlation coefficient of 0.94 and 0.96 in two large studies uh, that included more than 9,000 subjects. So one could argue that the Clamera Duval method, KDM, uh, is similar in its um, correlation with uh, Morgan Levine's uh, phenotypic age calculator. So what about uh, all-cause mortality risk? Uh, so there weren't any pretty pictures for this, but uh, the Clamera Duval biological age calculator has been shown to be a better predictor of all-cause mortality risk when compared with chronological age in, in a large study, NHANES 3, which included 9,000 plus subjects. So just to break that down real quick, so age increasing age is associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. So basically they found that this biological age calculator was better, better able to predict all-cause mortality risk than chronological age. So that's all I've got for now. Uh, you can find me lots of places online. Have a great day.